I can't my forest enough. <laughs> yeah, you're deep in the bush. <laughs> Just doing a little bit of uh, documentary. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let me untangle myself. <laughs> you see my berries? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> That's a bucket full of berries. It's almost half full now, hey? Yeah, no, not even and that. And in no time at all. Mm-hmm. So, why aren't you in a uh, classroom learning about math or English or something? Well, like I said before, I, I, since the age of six, I've been in a classroom learning about uh, non-native uh, way of life and or philosophy, everything like that. And now, Fennec Studies has given me the opportunity to learn about my own culture. Mm. And uh, the awesome thing about it is that I'm not uh, always uh, surrounded by four walls. Yeah. I'm out here with nature, and that's what natives are. We're so in tune with nature, and this gives me the opportunity to do that. And it's just awesome being out here, learning, uh, you know, things that my grandmother, my mother taught me. I've never had that opportunity to, to do that because um, I'm just uh, so involved with uh, um, non-traditional way of living. Mm. But now it, this has given me that opportunity to go back to that, uh, to my roots. So that when I'm an elder, I'll have a lot of information, a lot of experience to pass on to next generations. Mm. They pick clean by the time it gets back. This is a really good spot. Huh? My bag is like really filling up fast. Okay, close to half a bucket there, hey? Yeah. So, what do you think about Kainai Studies? Well, from my own perspective, Kainai Studies is who we are. It's our identity. Mm. And I, I was so urbanized before I moved back to the reserve. I never knew anything about my culture, all these sacred sites we've been to. I've never climbed Chief Mountain, you know, like, like there's sites all around us that I wasn't aware of. And, and this kind of studies that really opened my eyes mm. to what's around us. And like I said, it's who we are, it's our identity, and that's, that's our culture. Because I've learned about the um, Western concept of, uh, you know, uh, history and in school, but I never really learned about our way, our way of life. And this is our way of life, picking berries and doing these outings. Mm. So that's what I could say about Kainai Studies. From my own understanding, like, um, I think our Blackfoot ways and our language, that's really important to us, especially for the future uh, younger generation mm. like they we need to start teaching them at a young age like when I was growing up like I'm a fluent speaker but you know it's kind of sad for our younger generation they don't even know how to speak black but, uh. and I think that should be utilized you know as of now uh. You know, because, um, like they're saying, well, that we're, we're going to lose our language, but 
if we keep <laughs> keep this black foot going, this kind of studies, I think people can use kind of studies uh. in the future. So that's about all I could say. But I, like I said, I could say more and more. I could stand here all day. Mm.